Hi, my name is Tim Hewer, and this is a quick screencast on using custom callouts with Camtasia Studio version 4. I recently came across this challenge of where I wanted to do something that Movie Maker does quite well, and that's actually put a title video on a selected clip. And I didn't know until just recently that uh, Camtasia actually calls those callouts, and so I wanted to demonstrate how to do a custom callout on using Camtasia. So first I'm going to open up Microsoft Expression Design, which is uh, my um, graphic tool, editing tool. And I'm just going to create a new highest resolution image here um, by uh, using the default size. And what I'm going to do in mine, I want kind of a transparent bar across the bottom where I can put some logoing, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and just create um, a base black rectangle at the bottom. Expression does a nice snap for me. I'll change the color to black. And I'm going to change the transparency to about 60. And now I have my image ready. So I can just export it as a PNG. I'll just use Untitled 1 there. Choose the defaults. And now I basically have a image with a transparent uh, bottom uh, or at the, at the bottom there. So now in, Camp in Camtasia, what I can do is I've added three sample videos here to my uh, uh, my editing here, and let's say at this point I want to put a uh, the callout of my new custom callout on the bottom. So what I can do is instead of using a title clip or something which is at the beginning or end, I can do a callout, and I will say add callout. And you might see this button over here. Typical callouts are what people have been using as arrows and points, etc. Uh, but you have this button over here called a custom callout, and essentially you can just say click a new custom callout and choose the background image. So I'm going to choose that new item there. And you can kind of see visually um, where this is uh, defining it for us. So we'll call this uh, screencast demo. And then the second thing we're going to do, notice these red lines, is, is we're going to define um, where the text is going to start. So I'm going to say 100 in, and I know it was uh, about 920 down. And then we'll just choose 20 from the bottom up. So you can kind of see the uh, uh, the text block of the writable area where it's going to put it there. And this seems possibly a little bit too high, but we'll just keep it like that. And we'll choose OK. So now in my menu option to store, uh, after the defaults, we'll see all our custom options. So I can choose my screencast demo and do some typing here. So you can see it kind of show up on the screen here. Yeah, so now we'll just go ahead and do some, uh, change the text color to white. Viewer, and put the title in there. You can see that it kind of uh, centers it for me. And maybe I want this particular text to be a little bit larger. So I can bump that up a little bit. And maybe the entire text will make a different font altogether. And then we're done with that callout. So we can say OK and say finished. And now the result is, if we play back this video a little bit, that we have the video and then our callout will come up. You can see it's kind of a transparent image there. And then it will fade away. And we can, um, of course, determine those transitions um, at our will of what we want. So we could do things like import company logos here to make a custom callout. A little website logo here and you know I could have put that and then put the text after that but that's a quick example of implementing a custom callout and now it's available um, wherever I wanted um, at various callouts so I can continue to add and choose my custom callout on the bottom and uh, make custom callouts wherever I want within my Camtasia screencast.